Hey folks, today we're going to talk about the new RDP8 connection quality metrics that version 3.3 of Remote Desktop Commander can track. In case you're not familiar, these are the new performance counters present on Windows Server 2012, Windows 8, and Windows 10 that can track things like latency by session, available bandwidth by session, and much more. As long as you have a client using version 8 of the Remote Desktop Protocol, which is available on Windows 7 with an update, and natively in Windows 8 and Windows 10, connecting to a Windows 2012 server, these counters will light up and our software can track them. Okay, so the first way you can examine these is by opening up the Remote Desktop Session Navigator under the Admin Tools menu in our Remote Desktop Commander client. Select the active sessions on one or more servers by checking them, right mouse click, and select View Protocol Data. This will raise a window that will show all of these counters, including latency presented in a nice graphical form so you can compare connection quality between multiple sessions. You'll also see a legend up above that you can scroll through that explains what each counter tracks. Let's discuss a few of those. Latency is what you'd expect, which is the round trip time between the client and server in milliseconds. Then in the graph view, you'll see available bandwidth. This is what the server ascertains to be a rough approximation of the maximum data throughput it can send to the client, given the client's latency and connection speed. It's being measured in kilobits per second. Then you'll see the total sent rate and total received rate. Also measured in kilobits per second, it shows you the actual transfer rate from and to the server at that instant in time. I've started a file transfer from the server to my client system over RDP, and as you can see, both latency and total sent rate starts to increase. This is a good quality connection, so right now my loss rate, retransmission rate, and forward error cor correction rate are all zero. However, in a less than optimal connection, you should expect to see these rates higher during the life of the session. Okay, so if you've elected to run our Remote Desktop Commander suite, you can collect this information over time and then view the statistics in charts and tabular reports. There are currently three reports that track this information in the network category. RDP latency and bandwidth by session detailed, RDP latency and bandwidth by session summary, and RDP latency by session per server. The detailed version of the RDP latency and bandwidth by session report shows the variance in latency and assessed bandwidth over the life of each user session. You can filter it out by username and or over a specific period of time if you need to troubleshoot problems with connectivity for a specific set of users. The summary version of the RDP latency and bandwidth by session report shows the average latency and average available bandwidth for all users over a specific period of time. Use this report to quickly spot the outlier users with poor connections over many different servers in your farm.
Lastly, the RDP latency by session per server report is very useful in showing the average latency experienced across all users connected to particular servers. You can use this report to see if user session latency is trending higher on a specific server by examining the latency graph for connected users over time. Finally, whether or not you're only running Remote Desktop Commander Lite or the full version of the Remote Desktop Commander Suite, you can use one of our brand new PowerShell commandlets and scripts we've written to log all connection quality metrics to a CSV file for one or more users from one or more servers. The poll RDCons PowerShell script is installed in the PowerShell script subfolder under our Applications folder, which is typically found under Program Files x86, RDP Soft, Remote Desktop Commander, or Remote Desktop Reporter. To use this script, open up PowerShell and then navigate to that subdirectory I just mentioned. Then call the script with the following parameters. First, enter in the name of the RDS server or servers you want to profile. Separate each server with a comma, but no spaces in between. Next, enter in the name of the user accounts you want to profile again using commas without any spaces in between. If you want to profile all users, just enter an asterisk here. Next, enter in the full path of a CSV file you want this information written to. Finally, enter in two numbers. The first number representing the number of seconds you want to wait between each polling of the counters, and the last number representing the total number of poll attempts you want the script to make. For this example, I entered a polling interval of every three seconds and a total number of 10 polls, so the script will take a little over 30 seconds to run. Once it is finished, you can open up the CSV file in your favorite editor, such as Excel, to manipulate and or chart the data.